Hey guys, welcome to the part two of the series where we have basically I'm discussing about how I was able to crack my dream company, which was Browser Stack. And in the previous video, I have discussed about what was my experience, uh, discussed about how I got a call, but what are the things that you should have to do, what was the interview process, right, and how the experience with the Browser Stack is. Now I'm going to tell you about the very important thing, which is how I have prepared. when i got a call so there was a almost like 10 to 15 days time when i had interview so how i have prepared and i'm going to give you the tips also in the end all right so this video is very very important make sure you watch till the end you can watch in 1.5 bucks also disclaimer for my so the second important point which is how i have prepared so prepare for a normal interview that you have basically seen so i think if you prepare for any kind of a normal interview where you can have basically take help from a data structures generally i was comfortable in java at the time java and javascript both so you can take help from educative.io i will put a link also go ahead and learn the important concept practice the automation framework guys i know there are people who will say that with 2 years experience 1 year experience 3 years experience nobody will ask you question related to automation this is not true still there are people who will ask you the automation framework related question like with almost like 1 year 2 years experience so this is this was an interview for a qa lead so make sure i would request you have automation framework knowledge create it from the scratch that's very very important i have done multiple times make sure you watch the testing academy youtube channel where i have discussed how you can basically create your own custom frameworks also right watch it learn it add it to your github page now uh, you have to know about your projects very well guys this is really really important make sure that you basically whatever that you have put it into your resume right you know every word of it because they are going to ask you. they have asked me about git uh, so i have mentioned c sharp for some of the project and they have also asked me question related to c sharp also so still i don't remember at the time but because the first project that i have worked on automation was related to c sharp so that's why if you don't remember it please remove that from the resume that was one of the mistake that i have done still that i have managed it but again talk about numbers this is what i have learned over it uh, basically uh, in wingify we had almost like 10000 uh, num- 10000 test cases we were running daily right all the things you can discuss about automation coverage i recently created multiple videos around how you can calculate the uh, automation coverage and you can showcase them directly on here so in browse tech they will allow you to have your laptop with you so that in the interview also so you can see and you can showcase them properly this is very very important and this is very very advantageous point also okay if you can showcase what you have to learn you have learned right so you can showcase your framework that you have worked on in your manual test you showcase your document showcase your test plan test cases bug report stakeholders report any report that you have sent you can directly showcase them because showing is important rather than talking another important thing you can showcase your uh, achievements for example you can tell them right okay i have a knowledge about cloud services i have worked on docker right so i was basically exploring docker and selenoid at the time so i was the, talking about it and they had a very good impression because i was with my almost like 4 to 5 years experience or 6 uh, years experience they know that okay this concept he has worked on it so yeah your resume is important you, it, it should be decent and short and i have created a multiple copy i think i have already shared with you guys let me put out link also so this link this was the resume which got selected you can download this and see right from your end also okay uh, so another couple of point doesn't matter if you can complete it don't leave the question this is what i have learned whatever the answer that you are giving right don't give up that's the important learning that i have learned don't give up only thing that you have to do is basically you have to keep on trying and whenever you think that things are ready whenever you think that okay this is what the what the solution should be then you can give that for example there are multiple question that they have given me i was keep on trying and when i was not able to do it i didn't give up they told me okay let's move on to the next question so this is how never give up attitude you have to basically showcase them confidence is all about it you have to be confident in your communication as well as your body structure should be confident that yes i can do it i i will be able to do it i can definitely complete that right calm and quick action you have to be very calm don't be nervous in this case very easy going uh for java i think i have prepared from educative.io i will put a link also i think the link is this one the java data structure go through it and i uh, you will be able to crack most of the interviews because they contains lot of different data structure questions also or geeks for geeks is your friend and see all the questions there share your projects guys make sure you add your projects to get uh, to your resume as well as uh, share your project or your github also i think i have showed multiple times what you can do is like this i'm showing you my github profile you can create a simple page this is uh, also i have shown like how you can create that right similarly this page contains all the things as well as the repository so they will generally look out for your repository also even the director was looking my repository what kind of things so he said okay you have worked on json schema you have created multiple projects yeah yeah 
testing. So this was our discussion at the time. All right. So how you can correct this? Simple and easy. Live project, practical live project that you have to pay attention to. In generally, in Udemy, what I have seen is there are outdated tutorials. Take some important learners courses, which basically means that uh, right now what I have seen uh, on Udemy, especially on the other websites where you have recorded session, right? Most of the courses are outdated. They don't know how new new things which are like playwright or new concepts, right? How we are using Kibana and uh, basically Elasticsearch to push out and showcase a real time database and other things, right? Those things they don't know and they have not added a tutorial around this. So always take uh, classes from the people who are already doing it, right? So that you should uh, do that. Add your GitHub, GitHub, GitHub should be important take courses and revise and learn. Keep on taking courses. This is what I have learned. Revise yourself. Even now, generally, I take some of the important concepts. Now, my learning is through mostly through the documentation. Practice data algorithm also for automation tester is important for you. Create your custom frameworks. I have shown multiple times, web as well as mobile. Both of them you have to cover. Practice, practice, practice. Practice is everything. Saturday, Sunday, sit down, do give two hours and create your projects. Prepare your projects well and tell me about yourself. So the question let you tell me about yourself. You have to prepare very, very well. So this was all about it, guys. This is how I was able to crack my company. I hope you have learned something new. If you want more details and if you want me to create uh, create the series about how you can also crack these kind of unicorn companies, right? I have experience where I have cracked like two or three unicorns already, right? I'll keep on creating the interview. Just type part three in the comment because part two we have already done, right? So part three in the comment. I hope you have liked it. Please give a like and subscribe share with your friend that's it you have to share with one of your friends i'll see you in the next video